Well, we are back. We are glad that Kino is back at home. Yeah, those fireworks, they just, they're so loud for those pets. They just take off, but thankfully technology is helping that out a little bit. I'm kidding. Yeah, I feel like a lot of dogs are affected by that. I mean, it's not just when they're at home. It might be when they're in their vacation home or oh, yeah. hotel or anything. Dogs are a lot more unfamiliar when they're in another environment yeah. that isn't Hopefully their Hopefully Kino's going on a walk tomorrow. Maybe he <laughs> lives in the area and <laughs> stopping by. Maybe they have some dog owners looking to take a walk with their own pets. Maybe you want to stay off the yeah. pavement because it's still that hot, hot, humid weather. So we traded in a little bit of heat for what seems like a lot more humidity. Here are our official high temperatures today. Downtown Greenville hitting 91 degrees. The official high at GSP International Airport, by the way, is 89. 84 in Asheville, so it's basically 80s in the mountains and upper 80s, lower 90s in the upstate. 90 in both Greenwood and Newberry. And that's pretty much going to be the case tomorrow, maybe even a degree or two warmer than we were today with similar humidity. Right now, with that high humidity, makes it more difficult, or I should say temperature is a little bit slower to cool off. So we're still in the lower 80s in a handful of spots, including downtown Greenville at 82. 81 in Anderson and Hartwell and in the mountains even it's still in the lower and middle 70s the culprit that humidity look at these dew points lower and middle 70s that's pretty typical for say Charleston or any of these coastal cities if you were at the beach so very high humidity much more humidity than we were experiencing over 4th of July but of course that allowed us to warm up a little bit more to the middle 90s now we've got the lower 90s but our humidity is higher so it feels like the knob the upper 90s still so it doesn't seem like much of a change or at least a positive one at that satellite and radar showing a couple of stress showers and thunderstorms so we're not going to be completely dry overnight tonight but a couple of brief downpours maybe even a few rumbles of thunder are possible example cane river up in yancey county we've got just a little group of showers over yancey and mitchell county so might be hearing some rumble, rumbles of thunder there and these Thunderstorms are going to have a pretty short shelf life. Case in point, this little guy just west of Pauline just moved through the city of Pauline. And as you can see, it was pretty strong at one point with some thunder and lightning, but it was quick to dissipate as it moved east into Union County. If we take a look west, though, we have another one of those thunder boomers that is producing some heavy downpours around Westminster into Oakway in Oconee County. So the off chance this thing makes it to Clemson here. But as I was just saying, the shelf life on these thunderstorms a bit on the short side. Also some showers in Pickens County around the city of Pickens. So again, not a lot of rain, but a few places will experience a few downpours overnight. Just may make it a little bit easier to sleep tonight. Just think of it that way. Notice Futurecast really not picking up on much as far as overnight rain, but again, just what we're seeing out there is going to be about it. Notice tomorrow afternoon, pretty similar to today. A few thunderstorms develop in the mountains by early afternoon, by mid to late afternoon. A few of those move into the upstate, but I think overall tomorrow will be a little bit less stormy than it was today. We had a couple of those downpours in the upstate today, a little bit more in the mountains, and I think tomorrow is going to shake up very similarly tonight isolated showers as we're seeing right now 71 degrees some patchy fog going to be possible by early tomorrow morning due to the high humidity not much wind and of course if it rains in those areas where it does rain the visibility could be a bit hindered tomorrow 68 your low temperature in the mountains and we'll warm it up by about a degree or two in the upstate 92 your afternoon high temperature we'll call it 30 and 40 percent afternoon storm chances so again not widespread but still a little bit more in the mountains as you hit 87 degrees for that afternoon high temperature so pretty typical summertime weather so we're going to keep it at a 7 out of 10 so not a washout by any means but still plenty hot plenty humid and those pesky thunderstorms to dodge turning our attention out of the tropics a bit of an odd setup here we've got an area of low pressure over western kentucky and tennessee and it's forecast to move to the southeast toward the gulf coast and once it moves over the gulf coast there's a chance that it could develop into a tropical depression so not expecting any big impacts but the least it could very well up our rain chances by the end of next week possibly into next weekend. Something to keep an eye on. Not anticipating really any major issues with this, but it could become the B named storm of this year as we've already had the A name a few months ago. Looking at the seven day forecast, pretty summer like as you can see daily thunderstorm chances between 40 and 30 percent rain chances. So not too terribly different from one another. High temperatures near 90 degrees and just watch out for those afternoon and evening thunderstorms as they are in the forecast pretty much every single day. Shale.